Hey guys, it's Eric Wangano with Wangano Racing. Merry Christmas! This is your Christmas present. Let me show you what it is. I'm like, um, I used to write all my calculations and flow data and books. And this is from 2011, 2012. Because this is now 10 years old, I'm gonna share this with you. That's your Christmas present. I'm gonna show you what's all in it. But before I do, um, this has all the data from the heads I ported for that one year. There's a bunch. Anyway, I point this out because um, you're gonna see a lot of stuff and there's a lot of actual cast iron stuff in here too because I used to do a lot of cast iron, more so than aluminum. So we'll start off with this. It seems like I should work from the front. Nope, I'm weird. I started from the back. So let me show you what this is so you can see each page. You can pause the uh, thing so you can see what everything is. What you have at the top is this in the name of the head. This will be the throat coefficient discharge that I calculated and that's, it tells you, and exhaust coefficient discharge. Later on, I stopped doing this, but there's a flow chart for each one and also has its measurements and then they're written out here. Some are stock, for instance, this is a stock EQ Vortec 906 head and this is its, all of its information. Now when it says 183 with the pipe, that means that one inch or that seven inch valve lift, I just put a pipe on a floater. All these are without. And um, there's also sometimes notes that tell you stuff about the head as well. So I'm going to show you every bit of data I have for some of these heads. Some of these are from customer stuff, but they don't have customer's names, so you may not even see it. This is also with my old flow bench, which is very close to what the Sanyos reads. So here, this is an EQ Vortec 906 head. I don't make this head anymore. This is a really good head. All right, there's that information. This is an RHS, uh, oh, the 320, it's the one I CNC ported. That I actually have a CNC program for this head. It's the big block Chevy version. It did okay. Um, we use this in Engine Masters. You can see some different stuff done. And then, of course, the measurements. And then it's different things. This one is the RHS 360. It was a cast iron one. Maybe this one was stock. Yeah, it says stock. This is a Dart 360. I believe this was stock too. This is the RHS 360 ported. Really not that great. And then this is an AFR 385. There you go with that. Some of them will have things like this will tell you how much power it made. So this is a Brodex Dash 12 heads, a uh, small block Chevy. And it tells you how much power it also made. And then this is an AFR 227. This is a really old one. It actually did better than the new one I just floated about a week ago. And this is Pro Comp 225. This was the CNC ported one, by the way. This is, this actually does have a name in it, but he doesn't have these heads anyway. These are the reason why I don't port um, Pro Comps anymore. Um, this was the rectangular port head. It did pretty good. The seat actually crumbled and broke. Um, he didn't know until he took the head off to replace it with a different one, but there were chunks of the seat missing. But anyway, that's his measurements. Really didn't do bad as far as flow. This is a pro top line uh, torquer head. They don't make this head at all anymore either because it's cast iron. That's stock. Um, big Buck 063 open chamber head. I didn't take any measurements, obviously, but there's a the flow. This is a Patriot Big Block Chevy head. This was stock. Not bad. They don't make this head anymore either. Well, I think you still get it though, some places. Uh, this is a Canefeld 310. I want it floated. See its measurements as well, Covance discharge. This is a Pro Comp 210 that I, it looks like I ported this one. And by the way, when they say ported, each one's got different sizes, so it's not like it's to the max. Each one's just different ways. Like it, in other words, I ground it somewhere. And you can tell by the measurements where it lies. So I believe this was ported, and that must have been stock. Yeah. Pro Comp small block. Um, this has to be the Ford one. Yeah. This is the Trick Flow TEA ported. Um, this would be a small block Ford head right here. I don't remember what si which one this was, but there you go. Out about former RPM oval port, this would be a block Chevy. That's its number stock. This is a GM, it's the winter's head, so this would, it's an EPD one, as you see your numbers. EQ 200cc stock, these are cast iron. This is a mystery profiler big block Chevy. This was an old port. This is a profiler 210 from back in the day. 267, 268 has its measurements. 
This was the RHS cast iron head that I had ported. It really didn't make that much power. I feel kind of bad. That was a learning experience. But anyway. This is a Dart 335. There's those. You get your measurements. By the way, this if you ever see it like this, it's just the exhaust. Uh, this is a Trick Flow small block Ford. Not sure which one it is. I should have wrote down better notes than that. A Dart 225 LS heads. So if you're in LS heads, here it is. This is Cathedral for sure. 317. Uh, this is a Dart small block Chevy um, Platinum one stock. So in case you're wondering what an Iron Eagle does. I haven't had one in the video because I haven't seen them so long. But here's what they float stock. And you have all your measurements. This is an RHS 220. This was the aluminum one. They don't make this. Well, they someone may. I haven't seen this in a long time. There's that. Holly Systematic Ford head. This is horrible. I don't think they make this head anymore anyway. EQ 200. This is just pocket ported. You can see what it does. Pretty good. I'm not. They still may make that head. AFR 265 or 165 small block Ford head. There you go. This was actually the one you just saw from the video before when I tested some different intent manifolds. This is the EMC, the 10XRI head. And you can see its numbers it made on Dunsworth Dinos. Um, you can see, this is what's weird. When we had, uh, whenever I got flowed before, it was like, before they digitized and stuff, I want to say on Darren's bench, it was in the 350s. I didn't have it on my bench at that time because obviously it was getting digitized. When it came back, it flowed 320. With a little bit more work, it didn't change a whole lot. The numbers picked up some, but it wasn't that much great. So this is right off the CNC machine. This is not how it went and digitized. This was some more important work. And this is finally when I did it, just a different valve. And that's what it ended up being used for to make that power. These are all the specs from it. I'm sorry, I told you 251. It was 2.63 on the pinch. I couldn't remember off the top of my head. But in case you're wondering what made the head good, look. Yes, it gained area going here, and you would want it to get smaller as it goes here, but it didn't have dramatic changes in area to make them move the same amount of air. That's what built torque. By the way, the coefficient of discharge wasn't even that great. Uh, Patriot Big Box Chevy head ported. They made that. That was a really good one. This is a Procomp uh, Ford mystery one. Uh, sorry, not Ford. This is a Big Box Chevy. Trick flow, here we go, 225. This is an LS head again. There's your measurements, and there's its flow. Yeah, not what they claim. Um, Alder Brock, Plum RPM Oval Port. This is the ported one, big block Chevy. EQ906 ported. This one won so many races, a lot of races. That was a, a good good running deal. Um, this is those Pro Torquers ported mildly. It didn't really gain that much flow. These are Dart Iron Eagle ported. Um, this one actually won some races too. Not a whole lot of flow, but great. And it's still pretty small. RHS 220s ported. This is still pretty small, as you can tell by the measurements. BB2 Extras ported. And what's this one? Pro Top Line Big Rock Chevy 320. I think that was stock. The small block Fords when they got ported from Procomp. And then RHS 200cc stock. Small block Chevy. Uh, that's the aluminum ported. Not bad, this is 200 ported. I brought the former RPM stock. This is probably a Chevy. Profiler 210 ported. You can tell it's ported, but it's still really small. Really small. Not bad. Uh, but for more, if you have a small block Ford, this one's the ported version of it. GML 98. There's its measurements. Dark Pro 1 215 non platinum. Actually, I'll flow the 230. EB2 Plus stock. There you go. This is the Dark Pro 1 non platinum. There you go. I can't remember what it says. This has got to be. Is this ported? Yeah, ported. And it's again, it's ported, but not like all out. It's pretty small, really small. 
Um, so anyway, there's that. 492 Chevy head. I just wrote down the measurements. It's small. E-Tech, it's the only one I've ever done. This is what it flowed with stock. 210 small block Chevy head. Brooks IK 200. This was an older set. I flowed one of these not too recently on the last bench. Pro Top Line small block Ford. These will end up being a good head if you see later. Pretty good. Mopar 440, you guys thought I didn't do any. That's a 902 ported. I didn't port this. Um, there you go. This is the BB2 Plus ported. Here's what power it made. And the camshaft specs and stuff. And that'll brought 210 E10 210 ported. It didn't do too bad. Uh, RHS, this is the Raised Runner one. Uh, this came from Ron's. RHS 320 ported. Dart SHP, you're going to get to start seeing these are the old designs. The new one's better. There you go, with some more Dart SHP. Dart SHP. I'm going to get her going quicker because of the things picking up. This is that Pro Top Line, the 215 ported. Look how good it does. 334, this numbers were pretty good. I was kind of shocked that it did this well. That thing made some power. I don't even know if they still sell that head. Here's the Dart Pro One ported, the 215. This is a different one. Not bad. Let's get that one. Uh, here's some Ford in 351 stock. And some Pro Comp stock. Let's get that one too. Ah. All right, Jess, this is a raised runner small block head. The stock one. So, yeah, there's a story with it, this. That's what they flowed stock, raised runner, small block, Chevy head, not very good. This is the salt one from way back in the day. In case you're wondering what it flowed stock, there it is. This is the JEX 220. Now they have a new one. This is the Canefield version. There you go. And there's some more. This is the old SHP. That's it ported, and that tells you it made 551. That one's kind of neat. These are the non laminar AFR 195s. I'm trying to go fast because this video is going to go long. Merry Christmas, though. There you go. Uh, the one, oh, someone asked. Um, this is the Vortec 062 stock, but someone had bow hogged it. So about 230. LT1. This was ported, I think. Yep. This is a 243. So it's an LS head TEA ported. And that's its numbers. 303. Yeah. This is the AFR 220. This was the older design pre eliminator. And this was the Headhunter 235 right out of the box. This is the first one I ever saw. Oh, this is, I think Darren ported this one. Yeah, this is the Darren ported one. No, it's not. It's a stock. I think the Darren ported one is in here pretty. This is the cool one. So I actually have some CNC programs and ones for this head, and it sucks that it's no longer available. This is the Rage Runner RHS head for a small block Chevy. It was cast iron. Um, I had ported it, and then I had it sent off to BES to be digitized, and they have the program, but there's no heads available, and this is what it did. That was a really good head that's no longer available. This is a big block Ford. Yep, I do have the plate to flow that. I'm going to block from our thing. Fire two tens again, big block four D threes. AFR 195 ported. This was the older design. This is the Dart Pro ones ported 215. You still notice how I stopped doing the drawings because I just wrote the stuff. And then I took flow 320 big block Chevy head. And this is an AFR 245 stock. This is on the old bench. The new bunch is pretty close. And this is the Dart, or sorry, the World 235 head. Yeah, small like Chevy. World 215 head. Mm. And this is the Darren Porter th a Headhunter. He went 356. That one was pretty good. Uh, Marlin X. It's a big block Chevy head, and I'm sure that's available. Let's get that one. I'll show off him. This guy ported a set of 062 Vortec heads. He's a good guy. Um, it didn't do bad. 11x spec head and then 
yeah, you know, for that probably should have shown that, whatever. This is a Dart Pro 1 LS head stock, and that's an LS3 stock head. This is on the old bench, but the numbers are pretty close. A Dart 355 CNC one. There you go. This is a Mass LX XR as a black label. Trick flow. This is the 320 big block Chevy head ported. This one got ported several times. It was different iterations. But this thing made like 1,040 with 8 pounds of boost on an 871 blower. And this one's a profiler ported. Uh, these are some uh, LS dart heads I ported for Gunsworth Machine. That's what they did. This is a... Oh, Brodix track. This is the KC227. This ends up being the Dragon Slayer 225. It just made an ASCAP version. This is what it floats stock. Yeah, I think I've already showed that. Dark small box Ford aluminum. Yeah, let's move that main writing data. Oh, here's a, yeah, that's what I was talking about. This is the RHS small block Ford head, 215 ported. Look how good this thing does. 344. And look at the numbers here, 263 at 4, 301 at 5, 330 at 6. This thing was a beast. I'm not even sure if you can get in anymore. It's probably one of my favorite heads that they don't sell. And then from this point on, that pretty much does it for this book, except for it gives some information about the intakes, the lengths of the runners, and stuff like that. I don't know that you even care. I used to write all that stuff down just to keep some ideas. See, like the 4500 intake, this is what I think I used for the Engine Masters. That was a Ported Hurricane. That was a, a 2896. You get the idea. Then I started writing down bow weights and stuff. That, oh, I'll show you one more thing. I started tracking all the coefficients of discharge to see which ones would rank at the highest and whatnot. So this is lower. It's like these ones are the best ever. Um, just to give you an idea of which ones had the best coefficient of discharge, that was this one right here. Brodix Dash 12 which is a small lock Chevy head. But anyway, that's your Christmas thing. I'm gonna probably try to put all those names in the, of the heads in the description so you can kind of see. If you pause, you'll have to pause a bunch to look at the different ones, but you can see all the measurements. That's just 2011. So you see all this? That was one year. That's why I, I do port a lot of heads. A lot of heads. Anyway, you guys take care of Merry Christmas. Enjoy your gift.